Hi, I'm Sam Recker. I'm a nurse and I qualified for the 2020 Olympic Marathon Trials. Ever since high school, my goal with running has always been to make a Olympic trials. As soon as the marathon became my event, I knew that was what I was gonna go for. And my first couple marathons was just have fun. It wasn't until I moved here and started working out with the ladies in Philadelphia that I got that competitive spirit back again. When you race well, you just wanna race well again. <laughs> Professionally, I'm actually enrolled in a nurse practitioner program at Penn. I kind of put classes on hold when running started to go really well. That tan building is where I work. Nice view of Franklin Field right next to it, and I can literally still see my apartment from here, so everything is super conveniently located. Nursing is something that, you know, you need to be there, and there's not always someone to cover for you, so it's still a pretty demanding job, and I'm still really tired all of the time and have to budget pretty much every minute, but definitely difficult finding the time to do everything. It's always just in the back of your head why you do it. It's the moments like finishing third at CIM or being selected for Pan Ams, even though they're few and far between and they happen about twice a year or not even at all. That's what I think about when I want to turn off my alarm really badly. <laughs> this is uh, the Team USA jersey that I wore at the Pan Am Games. It's definitely not any other top. I don't know if the fabrics are any different, but definitely get chills putting it on. Fifth was awesome, but it was a little bittersweet. I was in third until about 800, 1K to go, which is the kick in a marathon. So I'm really happy with fifth and I'm really happy with the way that I ran the race. I wouldn't change anything about that. I went for it and gave it a go, but it still stings a little to be in a medal position last couple minutes of a marathon and, and give that up. Pan Ams gave me the confidence that I can run a championship race. I've never raced that style before. It was great practice, I think, for the trials coming up and definitely gave me confidence that I can still hang in the front, <laughs> even in an international competition. So we'll see what happens in February. So I was fortunate to run for Ray Tracy at Providence College. Shelby Graney was my roommate, Emily Sisson who everyone knows now is a contender for the trials. I reached out to Ray after New York, so it was like November of 2016. Ray coaches Emily and Molly Huddle as well. And so I asked if he would continue to coach me over the course of the next year so I could try to qualify for the trials. And it's gone really well since then. <laughs> She did such higher mileage than the rest of us because her body could handle it so much better. So I'm, I'm not surprised. I am amazed at how well she handles her time between working full time and school and just everything else she has going on. She's probably one of the people I know that's the best at time management. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe she doesn't need as much sleep as the rest of us. I don't know. She's really good at putting on her blinders and kind of just like keeping the train moving forward. And I think that's what's gotten her from being a 245 marathoner to a 230 marathoner without really overthinking each step along the way. I guess you can find inspiration in anyone's own personal story. I don't know if I consider what I do inspirational because so many other people do things that are what I would consider far more inspirational. There's so many professional runners that are moms and have multiple kids and I can't even imagine what that must be like. So professionally I would eventually I think like to get a master's in nursing. Something to think about down the line maybe when running's over but for now I'm, I'm happy. <laughs>